Hi, my name is Yasu from Japan, and in my video, I drink sake and introduce sake in both Japanese and English, and I talk something about something in both Japanese and English. So, uh, let's get drunk. So today I'm drinking Yamamoto. Doki Doki, Juma Ginjo, uh, they use Biyama Nishiki. No, uh, Miyama Nishiki rice. I, I think I say it wrong in the Japanese one. Uh, it's from Akita Prefecture. Um, if you happen to watch anime, um, especially like Spy and Family, one of the characters called Anya, she always say Doki Doki. This is Doki Doki in Japanese. They use Katakana. So yeah, every time I see these kind of things, it just reminds me of Anya from the anime. Uh, so let's see how this sake is gonna taste like. You know, the anime Spy and the Family, it got so popular, of course, you know, in Japan, but also in the world. And then I've seen so many people using the Anya on Twitter, using the, you know, anime. You know, Doki Doki Wak Wak. It's it's it, you know it's just it's just so much fun to watch it the movement. But anyway, cheers. The first boy smell. Oh. It's a rice. Um, it's a rice smell. <laughs> I don't think I convey what I'm smelling well. Um, it's sour, a little bit, but so clean. And then the flavor is. Um, it's sour, but very refreshing. It's good for summer and this is certainly summer sake so both you know smell and flavor is very refreshing sour but not too sour it's more clean and you can drink it as if this is a water i mean it in a good way because like you know in japan especially in Tokyo during the summer it's crazy hot too humid you know like I I, I really cannot like I, I feel like I can really breathe it's really that bad you know in that kind of heat super you know hot summer you don't want to drink, you know, the juicy, rich flavor sake. You want something really fresh, refreshing, light, clean, and it, not too much flavor. And light sourness would be more preferable, which is this one, Yamamoto Doki Doki. Ah, yeah. So. I always say this one, but the best way to experience Japanese culture is drinking Japanese sake. And it's summer, and if you're looking for a summer sake, I recommend you to drink Yamamoto Doki Doki, Jumai Ginjo. <laughs> this is Jumai Ginjo. <laughs> it doesn't taste like Jumai Ginjo. Miyama Nishiki. And then you can just keep drinking it. But like, Please do not forget to drink water because you're gonna get super drink, you're gonna get super drunk, and then you're gonna be really dehydrated. So, drink sake and then drink water. So, you know, this July, high, so many things has happened already. It's been only sub 13 days, but it's really one of the craziest July. And one of the things that happened really reminded me and uh, made me want to search about the gun violence 
in Japan and also in the US they can compare because the assassination of the former Prime Minister Abe was quite shocking and that made everyone including myself to feel like okay is Japan no longer safe what is really happening in this country so I searched for certain data and then this is what I found out in Japan in 2021 which is last year there were only 10 shootings and then only one person died that's it and to make you feel how rare that you know gun violent is in Japan um, in the US in 2021 there were 692 gun shootings in 2021 and then 20,944 people died because of those gun violence last year and let me emphasize here in Japan only 10 shootings one died so now you know how rare the gun violence and everything it is in here and then you know 2020 2019 numbers are really similar so what happened to the um, former prime minister abe is quite really really rare and if anything uh, it's not really quite the same thing because the suspect he handmade the gun by gathering all the information and everything from internet so it's not like he purchased the gun because it's almost impossible to buy a gun here in most of the people the general populations they never touched a gun or seen a gun or they never heard of the gun shooting in their entire life that's how safe it is so when we first heard about what happened to him we felt that no well, maybe japan is no longer safe but it's not really like that Japan is really pretty much safe statistics data really shows that it just a very unfortunate thing happened to him and then now the entire country is grieving for the what happened to him so what i want to say in this video is that japan is still pretty much safe and then no matter how hard people really want to get the gun and everything they, they don't have access to it they don't have access to it they will never have access to it there is even no movement or discussions that japan should make a gun more accessible or legalized to general population there, there is no such thing people don't even talk about it because it's not necessary in this country and in the crime rate the violence it's still low so with everything that you might have heard with everything that has happened this month especially let me just simply emphasize that japan is really safe still one of the safest country in the world so if you happen to come to japan and live here you will really feel that how safe it is to live here
so I just wanted to emphasize that in this video. I don't want to go into the details about what happened, that fascination thing, maybe in another video. So, um, please drink Yamamoto and then experience Japanese culture and get drunk because it's fun things to do, but don't drink too much. And then if you're still watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you do, I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, please take care and then, um, Jane, bye bye.